Hello everybody and welcome back to LMM. And if you're enjoying what you're seeing on the channel at the moment, how about giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to the channel to help us grow. Today we're in York at the National, at the Railway Museum to have a look around on one of the last days before a major redevelopment happens over there and part of the museum is closed. So join us for a look around as we see what it was like and what some of the work they're going to do is. Is the Great Hall and this is the stereotypical shot over the collection here with the locomotives around the turntable and this is what captures those images and what you think when you think of the railway museum. Today you might be going oh it's a bit grainy in there what's wrong with your camera? Despite all of these lights a majority of them over there are turned off so the whole place is a tad more dingy than you'd kind of expect to it's admittedly it's a tad disappointing because this is the centerpiece of the collection. This is where the record breaker is. This is where Mallard lives. The engines that you know, Evening Star, and the showpieces in the collection. So honestly, I'd expect it to be a bit more bright and exciting in here, but there we go. One of the key exhibitions here is the sanctioned Merchant Navy. Now, I don't really like seeing an engine like this, but as an educational tool to see an engine, what's inside it, and explain it to the general public of this is how everything works, the magic of a steam engine. It's an invaluable tool, but just the scale of it and the engineering, you can really appreciate it when you're next door to it and you see the insides of the boiler, the insides of the smoke box, just like that, and the insides of the firebox. It all just puts it all together and gives you a sense of how it actually comes together and works. There is going to be a redevelopment in this. This will change. And the plans seem to vary a little bit depending on who you talk to. The main kind of consensus is there's going to be more of a journey through here, through the history of railways, with different sections and different locomotives as you walk around, rather than this open free for all. Some of the work has already begun. This is going to be the so-called Wonder Lab, with part of the area now being shut off as the work commences there. This is all part of the big work that is going to continue so I can't go through there anymore, and the gallery over there as well, totally shut off now. This space here is where the biggest amount of redevelopment is going to go on. This whole open space here is going to become a new central hub, linking the two main buildings and forming an entrance and a welcoming area to the whole place. Which also means that the road just over there is going to be closed and the building expanded over it. Which means that this subway just over there that you have to drop down to crash onto the road will no longer be a thing. It's quite a major redevelopment of this area and it's going to really bring the whole thing together as one big building. And of course, this is the main reason for everything on that side of the museum being shut because you won't be able to access along this walkway because this is, will be a building site. Although this isn't the biggest undertaking as part of the redevelopments. 
Inside Station Hall, you can see that some of the work has already begun, with the goods line here that's normally full of wagons and a couple of locomotives being cleared out and some construction work started. In fact, this area beyond this is now considered a construction site. You can also see some of the issues. Above many of the carriages over there, there are huge hanging effectively plastic drip trays which have a hose coming off to collect water from the aging and leaking roof. The big project in this and the reason that this room will be closed for over an entire year is this roof is now basically life expired and is going to need completely rebuilding and making weather tight. At the same time they're going to take the opportunity to upgrade this space and make it a bit more nice. The wall at the far end is going to be removed and replaced with windows to allow more light in. Because as you can see at the moment it's quite dingy and dark and for a museum that's showing off some of the wonderful parts of our heritage including royal trains and some of our prestige locomotives you can't really appreciate it even at the most bright middle of the day the skylights are old and covered with years of dirt and the light just doesn't come through so the rebuilding this is going to make this whole space a lot more accessible brighter and more pleasant and it's going to be really weird that this place that has been more or less the same every time I've come and visited since I was about that big to see it undergo this big and exciting revamp and change because the NRM well, the railway museum as it's now called isn't so much just for us enthusiasts the museum applies for everybody and it needs to make railways relatable exciting and something that's worth visiting for people who might not necessarily know what Mallard is, people who might not necessarily enjoy going to their local heritage railway, but it needs to be an experience that's worthwhile for your average general person. This revamp and the revamp that's going to go on over in the main hall is going to help the museum accomplish that goal. It's also moving towards being more carbon neutral and friendly with lots of work going to be happening outside in the yard. The plans also include a massive remodeling of everything out here, which is good because actually this looks, well, it looks like a yard, but it's not really something that brings the public in. So a massive amount of new planting, trees, and just making the whole area a bit more nice for families to come and explore the world of railways. It is a huge, great project. And obviously this area isn't going to be accessible whilst they're working on that because you have to come through the building there. It also means that the miniature railway that's just over there won't be accessible. And I believe that the tent over here, which is additional storage, is also going to be remodeled and changed to be a permanent building to house the collection there because that won't really fit in with what they're trying to do over here. And of course, the big plan is that they are going to continue to be able to run demonstration trains and offer rides, which is something that hasn't happened here for several years now. One of the things that they're going to have to work out where it's going to go is this. This is Rocket, which is the great forebearer of basically every modern steam engine that you've seen. It's, well, it's quite tired because it is a very modified and a very old machine. But it can't be in here anymore with all of that shutting. This is going to have a new home found for it somewhere else in the museum. Don't know where that's going, but for now it's something quite impressive to think that this absolute pioneer is still here and with us. Or at least some parts of it are probably the original somewhere in there. Just off from the main hall is this, the Archived, which is full of all these wonderful railway gubbins. And you can quite easily spend a day just looking at all these wonderful different heirlooms that go way back. Each one telling a story of the railways and linking to different parts of our collective railway history. It's honestly a fantastic place to just wander around and lose yourself in the history. In the cornerstone and the most important part is the National Rail Collection of all the different types of rail.
And so that brings us to the end of this video, taking one final look at the NRM before it undergoes some major redevelopments. I'm going to end with a couple of photos showing my memories over the last few years. And in the comments below, why don't you guys drop your memories and share with us some of the times you've had at this very important museum. And with that, thanks for watching. We're we'll sure to keep you posted on what the changes will be and hopefully we'll revisit once it's reopened and see what it's like in its new form. And with that, thank you all very much for watching. Coming up on the screen now are a couple of recommendations of other videos that you might enjoy. And with that, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ta-ra!